In this super quick After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to make these amazing looking light rays with just basically two effects and yeah, as I said, it's super simple. So let's just go right into it. So I'll just make a new composition and just leave the settings like they are. And let's also add a solid background first of all. And I'll just use a dark gray, but you can use whatever you want. And yeah, now let's duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D or Command D and applying one or two effects on this one. So let's start with the fractal noise effect and just basically leave the settings. We only have to increase the contrast by a lot. So let's put in something like five or 600 in here. I'll just go with 500. And yeah, this is the first effect. The second one is the light burst effect, the CC light burst effect and just put it on top of this. And yeah, this looks weird. But that's okay for now. Let's first of all move this down a bit. So let's press P on the keyboard for position and bring this down. So this is basically completely gone besides these rays that come up on here, just like this. And yeah, this is good, but of course these are way too short. So let's increase the ray length and I'll just put in something like 150 in here. And yeah, this is amazing. Maybe you can put in even more, depending on what you like. But I think 150, 160 should work fine. Just like this, you can also play with the intensity. But I think the default intensity looked good. Wait, what was it, 100? Yes, this is perfect. But yeah, now we can see this uh, may look cool, but it doesn't move at all. So it just looks like an image and we want it to be like, yeah, moving around a bit and this is super simple we just have to animate the fractal noise evolution so we can just go to the beginning of our animation and put in a keyframe in here just click this button and then go to the end and just put in a higher value in here like two maybe and yeah now this will move it will take some time to pre-render because this is quite yeah difficult for the engine to render but the result will look just like this basically, except for the colors of course. And yeah, if you want to change the colors of this whole thing, you can always add a tritone effect. And if you apply this, you have a few options, so you can yeah, play with the midtones. Let's go for blue for this example. So the midtones should be something yeah, a little bit darker and the highlights could be a light blue, just like this. And yeah, this may look weird on our dark background. We could also yeah, change our background with a fill effect real quick to yeah, also make it something like dark bluish, like our example. And yeah, this looks good. Sometimes it also looks good if you have like these really dark spots in here. If you don't want these, you can go to the yeah, upper layer, to the layer with the light rays and change the mode from normal to add. and. Yeah, this might look even better and yeah that's it basically everything the rest would just be some more color corrections you could give it more contrast for example or more brightness but yeah let's just leave it like that and you can play around and be creative now and yeah thanks for watching and see you next time